Like Logstash, Bits is a lightweight log shipper. That means that uh, it requires uh, not so many resources to send the data to Logstash or to Elasticsearch directly. Uh, Bits is another important uh, component that uh, you can use in uh, Elasticstack and it comes with uh, different packages. And here we can see the Bits family. Uh, we have uh, FileBit, which focuses on uh, log files, and it has some uh, other interesting uh, modules, like for example, uh, Cisco ASA modules that um, you can use it to, to, to parse log messages that are coming from uh, Cisco ASA firewall devices. Uh, but you need to be very careful with those ones on how you configure it, because uh, sometimes it might not work uh, as expected and you can get some uh, errors. Then uh, metric bit, uh, it uh, can run um, on Linux, Windows and uh, Mac OS hosts and then you can connect them to Elasticsearch to get to system level CPU usage, memory, file uh, systems, uh, disk, um, hard disk uh, input outputs, uh, network statistics like input outputs as well as uh, top like uh, statistics for every uh, process running on your systems. Then we have uh, PacketBit. PacketBit, um, you can use it for uh, network monitoring. Uh, for example, you can install PacketBit and it can monitor the network interface card of uh, your computer. WinLogBit is meant for Windows, the, to check for Windows events, uh, software installations, uh, devices and authentication. AuditBit. Uh, AuditBit uh, is used for uh, Linux auditing and uh, it integrates uh, perfectly with uh, AuditD service. Then we have Heartbeat, uh, which, uh, which is used to uh, monitor the uptime and this monitoring can be achieved uh, with pings that are sent via um, ICMP or uh, TCP or HTTP. The last one, function bit, uh, it ships, uh, you can use function bit to, to ship logs from your uh, uh, AWS cloud uh, to your Elasticsearch. And right now, because we have um, Elasticstack uh, installed on a Linux box, as an example for this video, um, we will uh, install and configure audit bit to send logs to Elasticsearch directly and uh, later we can see how we can uh, visualize these logs in uh, Kibana. So now we need to uh, download uh, the audit bit package. We are going here and then click on download and we have on uh, CentOS so we will need to get the RPM package. Let's do the wget command and download the package it's downloaded and right now we will need the SHA checksum this one right here Okay, let's do a list all and yeah, we have our audit bit in here. Right now we need to uh, verify to see if the RPM package is uh, authentic uh, to compare it. So we will do an say chain sum say 512 minus C for compare and then audit bit RPM SHA okay and it's fine with that done we will have to configure it now to configure the audit bit we will simply need to go to Etsy audit and uh, sorry first we need to install it so we will do an RPM minus I audit bit rpm okay it looks like it's installed nano etsy audit bit and then 
about it bit yaml we have here a couple of sections we will need to go first to kibana okay so for this one i'm just going to delete the uh, hashtag in front of it and uh, we can have it for local host uh, calling uh, 5601 but um, if you're running a production environment you need to replace the local host with the ip address where you uh, where your kibana is listening on if they are not on the same server then we will need to go down below for uh, outputs and here we have the Elasticsearch output uh, as I've said before you need to if you're not running it on the same server as I am you need to replace your local host with the IP address of the Elasticsearch and let's see in here if we can uh, set up ah, this is for the Logstash output but we will not gonna send the logs to Logstash we will send it to Elasticsearch uh and let's see where are the dashboards let's look for them Control w and then type in dashboard and here are the dashboards and we will um, set up the dashboard for true in here in the beginning we will need to remove the hashtag all we have to do right now is to save it Control o okay and then we will uh, need to start the service so the first command with the enable is uh, in case you will need to um, reboot the server the audit bit uh, will automatically start okay right now we will uh, start the service okay and uh, let's see the status of it and it's running fine with uh, this configured uh, we can go back to the web interface in kibana and let's go to the discovery and in here we don't have anything configured so far let's just refresh it and yeah the audit bit uh, index was automatically created and right now we can see what kind of messages we have received uh, this is the date and this is how the messages look like yeah we have um, host name the agent type OS which is the Red Hat then uh, we have the kernel uh, the host OS name CentOS Linux uh, this is the 8th version of CentOS and so on you get the idea now because we also configured the, the dashboards let's see how the dashboards look like and by the way if you're not uh, too familiar with uh, elastic stack you can uh, click on this arrow right here and expand it click on the dashboard and here we have uh, a couple of dashboards that uh, we can choose of let's go for this one and here we have the user count user changes uh, the os distribution passwords type yeah, and the messages So this pretty much concludes the tutorial for uh, bits uh, for Elasticsearch. You can explore uh, how many you want uh, from uh, the family of bits. And depending on your uh, needs or 
whatever you want to achieve you can uh, choose to install uh, any of this thanks for watching if you like the video please hit the like button uh, don't forget to subscribe you can also follow me up on uh, twitter and uh, facebook share the video if you liked it and talk to you guys in the next one